Okay guys, so Amazon have just made a big announcement about changes they're making to the way that they charge VAT on their selling fees. So if you're selling on amazon.co.uk, regardless of whether you're VAT registered or not, this will have an impact on your business. So you need to watch this video. Okay, guys, so this is exactly what Amazon have said. Now, I'm going to read through this, and it's probably going to sound a little bit jargony, but don't worry. I'm going to break down exactly what it means in layman's terms, and I'm going to explain how it's going to affect your business if you are VAT registered and also if you are not VAT registered. Okay, so what Amazon have said is effective the 1st of August 2024, selling on Amazon, fulfillment by Amazon, and all other services currently supplied by Amazon Services ASE will be supplied by Amazon Services a uh, a e u all agreements policies terms and conditions currently referred to ase including amazon payment agreements will be updated to a e u <laughs> okay so quite jargony there but it gets a little bit clearer additionally and this is the important bit additionally all invoices issued by amazon will be issued by a u e instead of ase after the 1st of august 2024 so this is essentially what this means. If your company is established in the UK, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Netherlands, blah, 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 you will be invoiced by the AEU branch in your country of establishment. As a result, local VAT rules apply and VAT will be deducted from your Amazon feeds. In the majority of cases, we expect that you'll be able to recover these v this VAT through your normal VAT processes, your v normal VAT return processes. So what is Amazon actually saying here? Well, basically what Amazon's saying is that from the 1st of August, 2024, for all of their selling fees, all of the fees that they charge you on the platform, these will now be charged you by a Amazon company based in your local country of residence. So if you're based in the UK, Amazon will charge you those fees from the U, from their UK based company from the 1st of August, 2024. And as a result, they will charge you VAT on all of those fees. Now, why is this a problem? Now, I know some of you watching will already know this, but I'm just gonna give a little bit of background for those of you that don't understand why this is an issue and how it's gonna affect you. So Amazon has branches and offices all over the world. And historically, they've always charged UK sellers PPC spend from their UK based branch. And as a result, VAT rules have applied. So they've always historically charged you VAT on your PPC spend. And then you've claimed that VAT back if you're VAT registered or you don't claim it back if you're not VAT registered. So there'll be no changes there. However, all of their other selling fees, Amazon have always historically charged UK based sellers from their branch or a their, their kind of office based in Luxembourg. Now, the UK government sees these as digital services and a company that's based outside of the UK that charges a UK based company a digital service, they do not need to charge VAT on those digital services. It's a bit of a weird loophole. Now, Amazon would have always charged you VAT on those selling fees, but what it meant is you could have done something called VAT exemption. So you contact Amazon, you tell them that you're VAT exempt and they will stop or that you're not VAT registered. VAT exempt and they would stop charging you VAT on those selling fees because they're being charged from Lux Luxembourg. On top of that, you could also get a VAT refund for all of the VAT they'd previously charged you going back four years. Now I've done several videos on this, loads of other content creators have, and loads and loads of Amazon sellers have been doing this. And as a result, HMRC has had to process loads of these VAT refunds and they're just fed up. So what HMRC have been doing, and this is what I think has been happening, is been putting pressure, they're putting pressure on Amazon to change the way that they charge VAT on their selling fees. So as a result, from the 1st of August, 2024, Amazon will stop charging you selling fees from Luxembourg and they'll start charging all of those selling fees from a UK based branch just in the same way as they charge you PPC spend. And what this means is they will start charging you VAT on all of those selling fees, even if you're not VAT registered and you state that you are VAT exempt. And this is gonna affect both non-VAT registered businesses and VAT registered businesses. So let me explain how it's gonna affect you depending on what type your business is. So how will this affect you if your business is not VAT registered? Well, if your business is not VAT registered and you've never claimed VAT exemption on Amazon, then it's not gonna affect you in any way. Everything's gonna stay exactly the same. If you have claimed VAT exemption on Amazon and Amazon is currently not charging you VAT on their fees and you're making use of having those higher margins due to that kind of loophole, 
then Amazon is closing that loophole. They're going to start charging you VAT on their selling fees and there's no way for you to stop that. And as a result, your margins are going to become smaller. Now, this is a real shame for new sellers. There's no two ways about it. It's, it's, it's a real shame for new sellers because having those extra margins when you're first getting started, when you're first launching is really, really helpful as a new seller and you're not going to get that anymore, which really sucks. But the other way to look at it is that Amazon really should be charging you VAT on their selling fees. You know, it is a business expense and that's just the way it works as a non-VAT. VAT registered seller. So essentially they're just closing a loophole which shouldn't have really been there in the first place. Now let's talk about how this is gonna affect your business if you are VAT registered. So currently as a VAT registered business, Amazon does not charge you any VAT on their selling fees. And the way that you account for this when you do your uh, bookkeeping is that you account for it as the reverse charge method. What will happen from the 1st of August, 2024 is that Amazon will start charging you VAT on those selling fees. Now you can claim that VAT back just as you would with any um, any input VAT, so it's not going to have any impact on your profit margins. However, what it means is that you will have to adjust the way that you're accounting for that VAT when you're doing your bookkeeping. You will need to claim that VAT back, and also will have a small impact on cash flow. So to go into those a bit deeper, if you're currently using something like Link My Books connected to zero, currently Link My Books will be set to the reverse charge method on any of the uh, Amazon um, any of the Amazon selling fees. You will need to change this from the 1st of August to actually from reverse charge to 20% VAT on expenses to make sure that you're accounting and bookkeeping um, those fees correctly. So that's the first thing you need to do. Secondly, you will then need to claim back that VAT on the fees when you do your VAT returns. And then finally, this will have an impact on your cash flow. Now, not a big impact, but because Amazon's charging you that VAT at the time, you have to pay it. Yes, you can claim it back and it won't affect your profit margins, but it will affect your cash flow because your expenses will be higher due to that uh, increase in VAT on those selling fees. So overall, if you're a non-VAT registered seller, unfortunately, this is bad news for you. There's just, there's just nothing else to say about it. It just is bad news for you. Like I said, though, it was a loophole that shouldn't have really been there. So the loophole has essentially just been closed, but still, it doesn't really take away from the burn of it. On the other hand, if you are a VAT registered seller, I would actually say that this is a positive because what it means is, is that you are at no competitive disadvantage compared to non-VAT registered sellers. When this loophole was still open, non-VAT registered sellers had better margins. They could actually undercut you on price when they launched and came into a market and that made it harder for VAT registered sellers. So now because that loophole is closed, non-VAT registered sellers can't do that. So it makes it more of a level playing field. Um, so it's actually a good thing in my opinion for VAT registered sellers. Does this mean that if you were a new seller on Amazon, you should become VAT registered from the beginning? No, still definitely not. Even though your profit margins will now be the same regardless of whether you are VAT registered or not, Yes, the v profit margins will stay the same, but when you're not VAT registered, those profit margins are on your ink VAT revenue. And when you're not, uh, when you are VAT registered, those profit margins are on your X VAT revenue. So you will still make more profit. You'll still have a bigger bottom line being a non-VAT registered seller, even after these changes. So don't register for VAT until you need to, until you cross that new 90K threshold. So guys, I hope you found that video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you have any other information that I forgot to mention that you think would be helpful to the community and people watching, also please let everyone know down in the comments. Give the video a like, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.